Let's rock, baby. Look, look, it's the cool Dante over on the left. You see him? Do you oh, see him? Oh, it's the good one. You see him? It's the good one. That Dante's fucking dead. It's... Dead to the world. It's such... It's the biggest tragedy. Yeah. In the, uh, ever. That it's not an awful design. Is that a fucking font they use for Street Fighter collections? Mm -hmm. In the press any button? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like I've seen it before. Hey, man, I want two things out of you. What's that? I want... I want headshotted scissor fuckers. You got that for free. And I but warning, this game contains explicit violence and gore. Gore. Also a holdover. Oh man, it's so Let's old. Rock, baby. But somebody from the underworld. <laughs> somebody from the underworld. Woke up to justice! Yeah. I always love that line. It's very Japanese translated, but it's still great. The bug man Sparta doing his kata kicks. Look at him go. I'm gonna cut you. Did you think he was a bug man? Weirdly enough, possibly Bayonetta's uncle. What? Legendary Dark Knight. Don't worry about that. Nature calls. It's in the back. <laughs> so, you must be the handyman who'll take any dirty job. This reads like oh porn. God. It really does. So I would like to point out that Dante has a picture of his mom lovingly uh, placed on his desk. Sees her every day, he does. <sighs> the sunglasses. <laughs> oh, there. My. Let's start this out with Devil May Cry's thesis statement. Yes, which is... Dante can be cool. Action heroes can be cool. Stylish. Without the smoking, Come on, drinking, let's go. or swearing. That's right. They can be cool without being edgy. And that's basically what the entire thing is built off of, stylistically at least. Is yeah. How can what ca what can a character do to maintain e style and ease? One might call it a steeze. The history lesson is back in the '90s, they wanted to have a more action-oriented Resident Evil game, mm -hmm. and so they made Resident Evil 4, which I'm going to call Resident Evil 4 Part One, mm -hmm. which ended up being a massive disaster because it was too weird to be Resident Evil. So they turned it into this. And the other thing is that uh, the fucking progression and overall structure and level design follows a, the Resident Evil formula of, of mansion, uh, mansion, outside, mansion, lab. Just the lab is hell. Also find meaningless trinket. And That's correct. Meaningless trinket into meaningless place. The, the influence is, is outrageous. Hello, mannequin. Oh. Um, hello, hello toys. Uh, hello, other mannequin that's he evil. Hello, toys that come in a case of a hundred toys, but only one Dante per case that uh. nobody could sell. So, that right there, that high time into bullets, that is what makes the game... Bravo, absolute crazy. Oh, cool. And style meter in this game is like all over the place. Awkward language. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, look at this shit. Look at the Z fighting. Mm -hmm. That was not, I don't oh, feel like that was present. That's, that's Z battles right there. It's a Z war. Oh man, Z war. <laughs> We've moved on from Z fighting to the Z war. It's going hard. I love that. It's going hard. Yeah, this is the moment. This is the iconic cutscene right I, here. I completely, like this is where the game just lost me. Yeah? Cause I'm like, why would you do it in this weird way? Like, I understand that he can survive getting stabbed, right? Yeah. But why would you go this way where you have to go through the fucking handle and The hit? big handle, it's really big. That's the hardest, most ugly way to do this. Why would you do that? Now it's in your neck. Oh, it's everywhere. It's through his head oh, now. Wow. It came out the back of your head. Because I'm so tough. So there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, air hike is the most uh, fucking expensive one as it deserves. For good fucking. However, reason. air raid and vortex, you can just fucking throw those in the garbage. The air you raid. You don't need that. Is the biggest waste of money. I remember looking at it and being so tempted because look how cool that looks. Oh wow. And it sounds cool, and then it just turns out that vortex is even worse. I've never used vortex and been happy ever. 
I'm sure there's some sick combo videos that use. Yeah. It. How about fuck that? Let's take the, the let's take the move that was later integrated into, into the, the core character. Moveset. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, one of the thing in Dead May Cry is obviously animation canceling. You cancel this with a jump or you know whatever. But the easiest one is your firearms. So the the shotgun has a really long firing animation and has that cool ch -ch -ch yep on the reload. But if you I don't know sidestep, you can just do this instead. Which makes the shotgun way better. Unfortunately, that leaves the pistols in the fucking dirt after all the other weapons, which are two of them. What a cool little area. Let's hop on this for a second. Come on. It's the worst. It's just, the worst. Just hop on. It's the absolute Please worst. Please don't change camera every time. And the fact that they did it in 4 even is still is like, I just... The ones in 4 are really hard. And you it's not even like a little, like, you just, just have to know. Yep, yep. And you just have to... Yep. Yep. Oh, oh, there we go. Uh, oh, by the way, DT is a thing in this game. Yep. And it's awesome. There you go. You just pop it, you gain a huge speed boost, you become a very generic looking demon, and, uh, and that's that. Oh, uh, evilwitch.wav. Dot wave. So these, these guys are back in five. Yes. After being very missed for a long time. The Sin Scissors. The, and like, I remember, I don't know who showed me it. I think it was uh, Shmup God Pat that showed me it, maybe. But going from, it's like, oh, these are an annoying enemy to fight, to single-handedly fucking like that. seeing the lineup is like, oh, these are the best enemies in, in any video game ever. Yeah, they're like, great. These are just the best enemies ever. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab one blue orb. Okay. Yeah, so the orbs you want to get are the ones that increase your permanent... Permanent abilities. Stats. Yeah. Blue, purple, not gold. Fuck you. Fuck you, gold <laughs> orb. It's tempting when you suck. I will attempt to get through this game without using one gold it orb. Attempts, it attempts... It's tempting when you suck. It's hey, like, listen. This yeah. is not an LP of people that are ex that are experts or big goods at Devil May Cry. In fact, this is an LP of people that love Devil May Cry. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't even say that we know it. I know it. Okay. But I mean, like, we have some factoids. Fuck yeah. Oh! No! No! By the way, this is before Devil May Cry invented weapon switching. Uh, have you heard of Wolfenstein 3D? Okay, real-time weapon switching in, a, in an action game. <laughs> where you just hit a button. You hit a button. I mean, I hear you, but... You know what the worst part is? Is the DMC2 is the one who invented it. I mean, I hear you, but have you heard of Metroid? No. You don't switch weapons in Metroid. That's silly. You just have all of them. <sighs> Alright, boy. First encounter. I love Phantom. Now, I remember this being hard as shit, by the way. Yeah, so... You know. Don't expose your balls. The other concept <laughs> that it's insane that they introduce is the ability to just frame, knock All back. All sorts of shit. That shit. Well, it's not um, just frame, it's... No. Ooh, yeah. So that's the way that I try and second, do it, Second actually. swing? Yeah. Okay. okay. Because I find that it's more reliable. You have more active frames on the second yeah. swing. Okay, that No, makes I, don't, I don't know about that. All I know is that I find it more reliable. Okay. I've only, I was only ever introduced to, uh... So the fun part the about DT is you don't have any hit stun of any kind whatsoever. Yeah. Letting you just fucking dunk yeah, on yeah, these yeah, guys! Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> and this is when Devil May Cry invented secret missions. <laughs> no, it didn't. But it did make them kind of popular. Before they existed. Well, because they, they, it was it's also, just... like... It was also, it wasn't that it was combat challenges, but it was combat challenges that were like legitimately weird and difficult to find. But I, I don't think it made them popular in the sense that like- It the made them popular within itself. I was, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like what are you It makes one of the most annoying Do fights- Do you remember this? One of the funnest fights. Uh, Phantom Baby. Kill all the Phantom Babies with your feet. Ah, I don't remember this. Nah, it's, it's not with your feet, it's, it's just kill them. Yeah, check out your mom's ass. Look at it. You see it? Yeah. Yeah, that's what Dante's about. Don't you love it when your hero stares at his mom's ass? Hey, it's a radical fucking enemy. <laughs> the shadow. 
and it attacks you in its own cutscene. Yeah, he comes at you hard. Okay. And look, I did enough damage to him, which means he is now going to try and attack me so that he can kill me. Wow, it's almost like he popped his DT. Almost. Sorry, kitty. Enemies popping a DT? That's, That's crazy. crazy! Why would anyone ever do that? That's absolutely absurd. Stylish! There we go. So, as First you get ray. further in the game, stylish becomes easier and easier to achieve because it's about varying up your moveset. Yeah. You have the similar uh, combo restrictions that Skullgirls implements, where variety... Yeah, so I've done, like, five stingers in a row. ...matters now. more. Oh, I forgot about that! It makes you a puppet. Variety matters more than anything else, even if the move sucks. Even if it sucks, which many of them do. But that's how they balance it. All right. <laughs> this is where it's gonna get rough. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. This one is tough. And this was before uh, DTing would heal you a little bit, right? <sighs> ah! You don't have the ability to choose no. no I, I guess you, you don't have the ability to choose no. I guess you. Whoops. I forgot about this. This one's crazy infuriating because it's without Defeat using your weapons. Ah, so Use your feet, just Dante. Stop around. Hey, look. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this is the moment you knew. This, hey, look. This game was the dopest. The dopest. Shit. Hey, look. It's Macbeth from my friend's Macbeth project, where they just videotaped the, the Nello Angelo fights to recreate Macduff and Macbeth going at Actually, this is not the moment. The exact moment? Mm -hmm. is, oh yeah, it's coming up. It's, it's coming uh, up. Yeah! Take it outside, fuckboy. Yeah! <laughs> it's so good! Oh my god! So, by the way, there's your little hint. The combo? He has yeah. the same combo. Yeah. But guess what? Virgil attacks with Japanese swords. Not so. here, though. Yeah, I, I know. But that's why I'm like, this is him going either either Mundus aesthetic or, you know... Well, this is before he learned that he actually loved Japanese swords his whole life. That's the problem with canon. But that's in the past. Shut up! <laughs> I know, it makes no sense. It's got the Metal Gear... Oh, no! That was cheap. I'm gonna kill you. It's like I could have used your. Oh what? Oh that amulet. The last thing I saw before I went super crazy. <laughs> no, I'm getting killed by yeah. the stock lightning effect. Oh shit! I didn't even fucking remember that there were bug monsters. Thus connecting it to DMC five. Bug demon monsters. It's the in-laws. So I don't remember what this guy's name is. He's an upgraded Sin Scissor, obviously. Jersey Devil. Yeah, he's a Jersey Devil. He has an incredibly annoying series of moves. He's got a, a fucking... whatever the fuck that is. Oh, this fucking mission. This is an enemy that doesn't show up for like 10 more missions. But get used to it but now. Because we made Phantom, we can turn him into a normal enemy. So I'm gonna fail it. But you know that, right? Mm -hmm. Like, that's that's what we're building up to, mm -hmm. is me failing it right now. And having to use a fucking yellow orb. Because the game won't let me not. Well, there goes that. I really didn't remember the fact that it doesn't let you choose not to. And I'm about to fail it for the second time, and then we're you can, done. You can pop it. Thanks, Opacity. <laughs> Good for nothing. Like, for real. Good for nothing meter, man. Like, you actually can't tell if the meter's It's so cool. awful. It's so like, awful. I mean, if we look at it more closely now, you can see it, yeah. but... So later on, that just becomes a nice purple bar. Yep. And that... Oh, oh, oh. How about now? No. Oh. There, there you go. go. Yeah, try that later with more help. Yeah. Uh, it just becomes a purple life bar. And then you go, oh, yeah. That's how much meter I have. Good. But... I'm glad. For now, you're reading fucking runes. Okay, Elvis. There was objectively more room in the last arena. The camera in this is not great. Well, this side of the room at the least. Well, the camera's changing consistently, so... 
But that was the biggest problem early on, was like, Resident Evil camera not super great for things attacking from weird angles. Yep. Sure isn't. And that didn't go away until ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> Every single game in the franchise had that problem. Well, not four. Four had the weirdness of running, camera changes, run for two steps, run back the other way because you're holding the one direction. Gotcha. Oh, I blew him up with the last hit. Yeah. Eat shit, buddy. Oh, bad cutscene. Oh. Ooh. Incredible. Splorch. Oh my. Mommy splorch. Yeah, it's like my loins. They are... ache for his return. <laughs> Okay. All right. You started it in the first part. You started it. All right. So this is a grenade launcher. It is a very Re Resident Evil style grenade launcher. It's the, got the spinning chamber and all that shit. It shoot bangs. Bang. Real nice. So let's time it. One, two, three, four. Four seconds. That's now. It's a big bang. This is true. Three Mississippi's. I'd say. Yeah, three or four Mississippis, that's a lot. But what if you were able to, I don't know, cut that down a notch, like... One Mississippi, one, one Mississippi, Mississippi, one Mississippi, one Mississippi. Oh, that's, that's, that's considerably more advantageous. What the fuck? I'm trying to think of other characters pre-Dante. Blades! Yeah. Also annoying to fight, but super fun. Let me give you the middle finger. Super cool design there. Other, other, like, characters with the cockiness of Dante, <laughs> pre-Dante. Ooh, ooh, um, um, uh, mm. Like, fighting- with that style. Fighting off the evil that makes no sense to human minds, casually. As if it were nothing. He does not take this entire game seriously until, like, I want to say Mission 19. Uh, I, so, Helsing, right, has Alucard, but Alucard- In the anime? Oh, so are we yeah. talking anime? Well, I mean, there's a million of those fucks. Well, there's there's Helsing, there's the new one, and then there's the uh, the manga. But I, I, I definitely don't think that uh, Helsing predates Devil May Cry. So. My Shit. name is Ifrit. Mm. And I will create a subgenre of fighting. Who <laughs> <laughs> wakes me shall be Speaking dear. of hot blooded gar, put these fucking things on. This is still one of the coolest ways he's ever gotten a weapon with them flying around like that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm! Oh, feels so good! Big charge for big boys. And Killer B, there she is. Why would it be called Killer B? Did he learn that from Cammy? Yeah. Probably, yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you the human? The son of Spot of Challenges the Darkness for this. Block off, Featherface, or you can stick around and find out the hard way. Yeah. It's the best. It's the best. So, like. In that, it's the worst, of course. So, I think what they want me to do is hop on those. But fuck that. It's actually not very useful. At least, I don't personally find it very useful. What's actually very useful is shooting him with your fucking super powerful DT bullets. So we got Magma Drive. Yes. That's pretty good. Yes. We got Kick 13. That's amazing. Yes. You have Rolling Blaze. I have never found a use for this. It's fine. You have Meteor. Yep. Meteor is pretty yep. good. Yep, yep. So we're, we're going to focus on Kick 13 here. Oh, are we not even going to scroll down? Oh, yeah. Not even. <laughs> we're not even gonna Inferno's see. there. We're not too, even gonna look at it. <laughs> All right, and now we have Kick 13, one, and Meteor one. This is the, the this is the highest DPS um, like DT move that you can do. Uh, it doesn't seem like it, but trust me, I fucking fought Nightmare Three, Nightmare, uh, Nightmare Three DMD, and yeah, no, it 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 hurts a lot when you hit dudes with it. Yeah, look at my health. Look at my shitty health. It's the worst. Wooly's bringing his nothing back in the mind. I really hate that a second life bar gets created on top of I that way. I love it. I oh, you want the big fucking long keep one? Keep it going, fucking... Yeah, you, okay, you, yeah, you know what? I can appreciate Hit that. Hit the edge of the goddamn TV. 
That would cause visibility problems. Change the color. You know what's actually interesting? Final fight. Oh, yeah. The fact that DMC2 happened in the way it did, where, um... Oh, fuck this one. Where people who didn't understand the first game got to rule and, on the, and, and give feedback and consensus that made Enemy it... step is here. Oh, well then, you just need to try it. I need air high for this. To make it happen. Wow, you don't need it at all. You're doing oh, great. Fuck. It's tough, man. Uh, yay! Round two, Go baby. On. Let's do it. Come at me, bro. Literally. Summon Swords actually always bothers me. Because uh, it's the equivalent of his gun? Yeah, because it's his gun. Yeah, it is. But, like, that's a thing Virgil can do that Dante just straight up cannot do. And it's insanely... Like, it's really good, And too. it's insanely powerful because he can make it do different things. Because if you want me to paint them as equal with differing skills at certain points, that's fine. But Virgil has powers that Dante doesn't have. He, can, he makes ghost weapons do his bidding. But I guess that's fine because Dante gains powers during the games that Virgil doesn't have. But he's taking weapons, mostly. Yeah. Right? Is the summon sword a weapon that he just took? Oh fuck, maybe. And he just has all Maybe time. he just took his maybe he just killed a demon and uses that. Yeah. Why not? That, that would explain it. Damn. I daydream quite often about the game that hates the, its own audience. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't want it, right? Oh fuck. This game hates you right now. Oh, this is the weirdest part. Why did they make it like this? Remember when they went back to this mode and they put this back in the other games? I wanna point out that this that Control is inverted as well. Remember? It's not just like, oh. You do an instant home splitter. Ooh, pop. There we go. There you go. I think the fucking second health bar is great. I mean, everyone. And it's a classic thing for this for this series. Three, I know for a fact, has two health bars. I don't I don't feel I don't more, know about four. I don't feel more powerful with the second. Why? Because it's like, oh, I'm almost out of health. No, wait, you had a whole extra bar. On, uh, to be honest, it's just aesthetically unpleasing. It's really just... It's, well, I mean, we're talking about a PS1 you know. game in, like, fucking 2001. There's so many elements of this UI that are busted. Like, the fact that this... It, this well, like, when it, it, whenever when it gets to the idea of, like, how to show someone's more powerful, just put another one! I'm like, ah! Oh, I love it! That goes against every no, other video shut up, game that's in the history. Best. Or at the very least, not every other. I'm sure there's an example, example out there, but, like... The, oh, no, we blew up the fuck. The majority of video games just are, like, not about that. Look at that giant boss life bar! Oh, it's great. That you could have easily had a length that was oh, compar great. comparative to... But instead, no, we gotta double it up over there. Oh, no. You know. Sorry, Phantom. And by Phantom, I mean Griffin. There you go. There you go. Um, that was a little rougher than the earlier fight. Yeah, but you don't really... It's like a situational battle. You don't get a chance to really wail on it as much as you want. Yeah, he's not on the floor at any point. I just got reminded of a feeling, and I don't know if it, if it, if it was just like me and people I know, or if everyone had it and eventually ditched it. But did you have that feeling when early 3D happened? Like Mario 64 comes out, and you just go, 2D's done forever? No. You never had that? I did okay. not have that feeling. It ha How I do I get back into the captain's room? Ah, oh, there it is. Like, there was a briefest of brief windows- I do windows remember people having it, Where though. you go, oh, NES to Super Nintendo, 16-bit, 8 to 16 to 32. Now we're looking at 3D, and this is just what is now. You know? Like, the, the, like there's no reason to go back from here. So I didn't have that thing because, like, oh my god, this is the worst fucking secret mission ever. And I don't know why- I, like, I, there's no neat- bow tie at the end of the story where I'm like and then this moment happened and I and I realized like it, like something just kicked in at some point and I went oh no no not at all actually this is just a different way to go with it and this is not at all a replacement for 2D uh what the fuck was I talking about you were talking about uh air hike and spending currency oh fuck I didn't want this fuck that's the last thing I wanted yeah didn't need it the nice thing about Proud Souls is that you can cash them back. Oh, dude, it's the best part. These blue orbs have been uh, getting harder to get, but easier to find in these last couple levels. Probably would be a lot easier. If I had uh, Air Raid. Yeah, actually. 
like that beginning statue jumping, uh, uh, the debris jumping part. Yeah. You can, you can air raid over that, uh, someone put it on. I was like, oh, fuck, that, that probably There you work. go. Got it! And then, of course, the, the Helsing inspiration's coming from Vash the Boy, Steve. could I not be more fucked right now. And Vash the Stamp. There Steve. I go, yeah. So, like, yeah. in the design documents for the new Dante in the remake, uh, sorry, 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 the reboot, by Ninja Theory. Yes. Uh, I got a, uh, there's, there's, I it floats this. around the design, uh, elements of, like, Dante, not this. Dante is this. Yeah, I remember that. And, yeah, like, yeah, some yeah. of them are so outrageously fucking edgelordy and stupid. It's the most off-base and most out-of-touch you it's, can be. It's like, Dante is not... What we thought was, was good was looking for more, like, uh, a fashion street, urban people, like, people that... You see, uh, every day in the street. And I'm just like, fuck. That is, you're not just reinventing the character, you're making the character into the opposite of, of what, what they are supposed to, to be. be. Um, I really want to find that thing. Yeah, so that was the one, that was the one that fucking had, uh, not this, and then it shows Dante in his, um, it with his, with uh, fucking uh, 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 what should we call it? Next, he's edited into uh, Brokeback Mountain. Well, maybe, maybe. Uh, oh God, yeah, I forgot. It was also like vaguely homophobic. Where they fucking put Dante We're hanging out with the gay cowboys, and they're like, "Oh, look at this Brokeback shit." Like straight Dante's up. red coat, man. That's for homos. We gotta get a cool Dante, and it's like. Fuck. And the cool Dante's Western <laughs> and stylish, and then they show you um, uh, a uh, drunk uh, addict. They show no, 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 no. They show you uh, Tyler Durden. We thought this was actually the movie. We we really like it um, because it's cool. It's this weird thing of of you got all, you got this feeling of like Japanese developer don't know what cool really is they do their anime stuff yeah then can we hey billy if you're listening to this can you even write billy a thing can you smash cut to kamiya hanging out with his mom yes um with look, the fucking <laughs> glove with the gl with the union jack glove and the leather jacket back when he had hair you know what you're right i actually called out the union jack but that was on his gloves right back in the day I'm both, like, like, straight up, I was super wrong, because it's true. That is a motif that Kamiya himself used. Right? Holy shit. But, like, yeah, <laughs> this guy doesn't know what cool is. Um, he, oh. There's, like, and, and there's a head, there's so many of these slides, too. Like, the whole thing continues for a while. But it gets to your eventual, Dante is not Malice Miser hair metal. Dante is the man in black and Johnny Cash. Oh, right? Fuck. Fuck off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh, there we go. There it is. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So I remember, like, every time we caught a new, um, uh, 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 uh like, Devil Bringer animation. Oh, fuck. I just hit the wrong button. God damn. All right. Um, we'll I'm sorry. I had a missed call on my phone and was like, what the fuck? Who the fuck would call me? This is very, very awkward. Maybe an item might help. Hell, you. fuck no. I promise no items. You you already used you already used a bunch, whether or intentionally oh, or not. you can't not. That's not fair. I mean, the comments called it out. Fuck that. Oh, that's crap. Yeah, you can lame this if you want to lame it. Hell yeah, I'm gonna lame it. You know what's lamer than lame? Dead. Being la oh fuck. Yeah. You do all sorts of lame shit look in this at, house. Wow, look at your dull. No! Oh. 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 oh my god, magic picture! Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything below D? No. No. But you're gonna discover right now. The game's gonna fucking shut itself down. That was the worst it's ever been. That Whatever. was the like that was the antithesis of style. Oh no! Don't kill the noble enemy. Oh, uh, you know what? I never really put it together, but his energy blasts are the exact same color and effect as Trish's. Uh, Trish has yellow energy. She does? Yes, you're super wrong. Oh, I am super wrong. Why am I thinking that she has blue energy or I don't purple know. energy? 
But purple energy comes off of Dante when he uses. I'm sure it happened once, and thus I'm okay. Yeah, Trish is a thousand. Is touch. shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You beat him. <laughs> Maybe it was too easy for you. Mundus. His heinous Damn ways it. make me. Uh, hey! Yay! I was so bored when I saw this enemy. I was like, oh, who cares? Right? Oh, it's an electric bat. Just kind of like the fire bats I was fighting with Griffin, right? Uh huh. I was like, boo. Oh, okay, it's a man. <laughs> okay, it's a Cyclops man. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. But then. Fall down, please. I would appreciate it if you fall down. I never quite thought Come about on, it man. this way. This is going really badly. Oh, man. For cool, not for him. Or me, even. Your presentation, your TED talk is fucking killing it right now. I know. Everything. Oh my god. You killed him. Okay, so those guys... <laughs> are, ...are clones, and they share your moveset, and they would later go on to become the Joy in Bayonetta. But not if but you not them if... before they turn into that form. You did it. That's awful. TED talk over. The one reborn... Behold, the hardest boss in Devil May Cry 1, Enjoy. but only on the hardest difficulty. <laughs> Let's let him get into goo mode for a second. He should be doing it pretty... There it is. Mm -hmm. The thing that most players will go, FUCK! But decent players will go, yeah. See? Can you escape my challenge? Yes, I can. So in DMC 1, you fight every boss three times. Why? Because that's cool. But some bosses you can fight more than three times. Uh, you don't say. Yeah. Hi there, Phantom. So luckily, uh, these versions of the bosses take increased damage. And give you some orbs. But if you struggled against Phantom, then... If you, fuck it. Yeah. Don't get caught. However... You're back in. And... Pop! Right. Super worth it. Oh, you oh, bastard. You tried and you I wanted it to be stylish. It already said it was stylish. So the main issue... Now with, it's just dull. You see that? That's what you get. The main issue with Nightmare is that uh, in his second and third phases, he gains moves that are more or less impossible to avoid. Uh, in particular, there's the move he gains in th uh, uh, Nightmare 3, which part of his chest comes off and starts spinning around. And I don't know how the fuck you're supposed to avoid that, genuinely. So apparently there is a secret way, I shit you not, to kill Phantom. Besides the reflection? Uh... As in, like, another... Uh, there is a secret way to kill Phantom. No, no, no. Um, Phantom. Instant kill. An uh, instant kill in his last phase. So the deal is, is you know that he falls through the floor? Okay. If he does his jump move three times on the glass, he just falls through the floor. Oh, yes! Instant cutscenes. Oh my god, I totally... Yes, I did know that. I did not know that. I knew that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, uh... Uh, Shmup got Pat told me about that. That's true, that's true. You can, you can bait him to fall through. What a maroon. Also, fucking awesome design. Again, putting little secrets in like that. It's a good thing to do in your video game. Are there any stupid RE monsters that that, that happens to? You remember RE4? Yeah. Verdugo? Rocket launcher plus ice equal no boss fight? Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh. Oh. That's a failed mission, secret mission right there. Array. I believe that is the end of that secret mission, actually. You just have to make it back over. No, I think, I think that is it. Now, if you were playing on easy auto, you would miss out on everything cool about to happen through this portal. Fuck. Fuck. Nailed oh it. my god. Nailing it the hardest it's ever nailed. There's a painting of a Coliseum. I, I must have had to... Fuck. Oh my god. You're right. Look at all these cool things. Look at that there. cool shit. Whoa! In one! Well, I need to do it a couple times. It's also firing more slowly than phantoms. Yes. Uh, still, you did it. Hey! My balls could have been exposed. That Luckily, they were good. not. That was pretty good. This feels like it's got a fucking thing out here. I don't know if it does. Meanwhile, versus think of Dark Souls, where you're like, tap, tap, tap. Yeah! Hey, there you go. 
think it's pretty clear that Dante, up until the reveal, does has no goddamn idea that Zero. that's Virgil. Zero. I mean, he the, the, he calls he just calls him. Oh yeah, you're you're a guy. You're a cool guy. The giant blue aura is not cluing him off at all. A lot of people probably have giant blue auras. He's kind of scared by it. And there it is! There you go. The creation of that shit. The first hint. Dude, I'm telling you, it's so much better because he can make them go on you! You know? It's more than just his guy. Well, and what's interesting is that in this game, it's really just a, a, a cre uh, the natural progression of, like, Phantom's moves. It's a move that you have to keep moving to avoid. You run along the floor, and you avoid it. And that's uh, it. Versus the lava of the lava. Yeah, uh, versus the lava, versus the spikes from right, the right, from the right. cats. But like, um, later in three, when you get the version of it that's floating above your head, and going one, two, three, four, five, da, 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 like... So this, you have to jump to avoid it. Yeah. And then you get fucked by that. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! Ooh. That's, damn it. Damn, son. I oh fuck. Claimed. That's the that's the first one. Claimed. That was honest. I was really hoping that I could get through the whole game without dying once to anything but the secret missions. That was honest. And Nello three. I didn't. Yep, I got it. Cool. Hey, but it's a so it's not a Souls game. So once again, that's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm a monster. Oh, I'm so lame in this game. It sucks. They fixed oh, it. They fixed it later. I'm gonna go see you in three or four games, Dante. He looks <laughs> way cooler later. It's okay. Happy birthday. Wow. So, like, let's, let's, let everyone who's beaten DMC3, or no, it's just story there. Like, that moment is not given nearly the significance it should, knowing the later events. <laughs> that led up to those pendants. Not to mention the fact that you have to think that ten years from that happy memory, yes, they're trying to kill each other in the rain. Yeah. Shirtless. Yeah. And it's all like... They're not shirtless. In Dante, the intro? They, they are not shirtless. Why, why isn't your memory early shirtless? I guess he's just shirtless in his shop. <laughs> yeah. They never fought each other in the rain. They are not Wooly. Hold on. Wooly, I know you think that I'm super wrong. No, about I'm stuff. I, no, I'm I know I'm probably super wrong right now. They are. But I need to confirm what my brain is telling me where they don't they don't fight in the shirtless in the intro in the rain and then Hell no. wipes his hair off. Like my brain is going, what? Keep pro progress, go. Yeah, 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 nah, I'm checking my I'm checking my orbs. Uh, I guess Holy shit! It's Trish's sword. I'll never use this again. It's Trish's blade. That totally is not yours. It makes me super happy to see him have it in five. But fuck you, it's not his. It belongs to her. Look at that! Uh-oh. Here he comes. He's coming. It's Phalanx. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Hey, buddy. Now, you can tell just from the pistol hits, this is obviously doing way more damage. What a cool fucking enemy. Design-wise? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And all the moving parts. And it's, well, because it's a fucking death train. Yeah. Is what it really is. It's not It's not moving like one, but design-wise, it's totally a death train. Strange voice from the Transform is echoing inside my head. I'm the first key to opening the gate of the underworld. Second key resides in the mirror dimension. Unfortunately, you have nothing. Oh. Oh. Yeah, uh, that's right. Items. Got one. Oh, I hate Use another I hate one. You. I hate everything. Devil Star. That's an item. You spent. You're using an item and you're. <laughs> oh my god. And you're using the move that you fucking didn't want to get, and it's just great. It's great. Get in there. Get in there! God damn it! 
Okay, actually, the fact that it didn't let you, like... Yeah, was, that, one's, that one's busted. That just... I'm gonna give up. I'm gonna check my stupid list. Da -da -da. It's cool, we'll just look at Dante Toro's guns. Oh, there he goes. That is cool. Okay, this one, apparently, you can actually do... Yeah! What the fuck? So now we're in hell, and hell in Devil May Cry is organic. Yeah, uh, what, do you, what am I looking at? Uh, the Bangle of Time in Devil May Cry 1. Oh, fuck. I love organic hell. Like, hell is a thing! It's always organic, but sometimes it's more organic than others. Like, in, uh, that game, uh, that, uh, didn't advertise itself. What's it called? Agony? Yeah. It kinda advertised itself. Had some trailers, and they came out, everyone's like, it's not very good. Like, oh. But it looks like organic hell as fuck. Yeah. That is accurate. How about round three? Trish, stay back! Yeah, She's I'll behind I'll, 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 I'll do that. She's behind an impenetrable thing, though. It's fine. So this is the hardest fight in the game, the game. no problem. Uh, on, you have nowhere to run. On DMD. You have nowhere to run, and the camera is so super horrible. Like, it's actually cutting away from the target. Yeah. It's very bad to do. I, I'm trying to jump on his back. He did... It's, why was he not doing that beam attack more often? Because he usually does. Alright. Like, or maybe you're just getting lucky with it. Maybe I'm getting lucky. But he usually does that beam way more often. Alright. This would later become Bloody Palace, I guess. You know what? Bloody Palace? Yeah, there you go. That was something DMC2 added, and it was of value. It started it too. Yep. Mm. Well then, fuck it. Oh. Two adds the cape, and and that and that's some value. Wow, that's a work damage. Two also adds that big dumb, goofy face coming out of the side of a skyscraper. Hell yeah, it does. I remember seeing that in the trailer go, FUCK THAT'S COOL- Oh, <laughs> man! <laughs> Worst boss in the whole game! Ah, uh, shit. But you can't hit it with your sword, man. But it's like, now Dante's out in the real world and everything's going to shit. Like, well, it's, it's a cool concept. It's, it's, it's the idea of, like, the evil has escaped and made its way to your home. Oh, no, it's Jurassic Park 2, the, the lost world. The T-Rex just ate your dog. That makes zero sense. How did the T-Rex kill the people on that boat? Humans, what sweets. You should know better than to trust a stranger. Your presence has become a hindrance to my master's bloody scheme. But now you... Die! You brought him here. Are, am I still gonna get paid? Now, Mommy, why would you do that? Is <laughs> 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 that... Oh, man! No, 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 you can't! No, me! I got to say mommy! <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm being that Virgil. It might be the best now. I mean, hey, like, if <laughs> this is one thing, he's, he's not an idiot. Oh, fuck. Dante! This Don't music's- Don't close to you, devil! You may look like my mother, but you're nowhere close to her. You have no soul. You have the face, but you'll never have her fire. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> What's crazy to me is that, like, Ruben Langdon is the same voice actor in all the games. Sure. And it's it, that if it's that, if it's sure like that, is. it can only come down to writing and direction, it right? Is. Yeah. He didn't just be no. shit for this one. <laughs> Find the hidden bangle. It resides in this secret corridor. Little could they have known that this bangle would go on to nothing. Nothing. And no one. Yeah, it is it is the it is the exact same upgrade in Bayonetta. Little little would they know that this bangle would go on to be a kind of cool factoid in the future, I guess. Bangle of time. It's a Shit. mysterious wristband that has the power to stop time. Clear! Defeated the final secret mission in the game. Still staring at your mom's ass. I believe I got everything but two 
secret missions. You're basically Joseph Joestar if you yeah. think about it. So, gotta do a little, little thing. With the reward the... for the secret mission is, is peeking at mom's butt. Ugh. And so this is supposed to be very shocking. Despite the fact that we've seen Mundus be uh, all angelic and shit. But it's got all it's these... It's like, the, the contrast in level is like... It's got yeah. all these nice, yeah. like, highlights and... and and to be chair. fair, it's a very pretty room in the game. I agree. And Mundus is there, he's sitting on his chair. He's being mundus -y. Oh my god. I don't care. It's my mommy. Trish. Why would I care? Wow, she's clearly not actually shackled in. Like, look, look at her. You Ow! Why were you pretending to be asleep? So stupid, I love you. Remind me of my mom. Mommy. I hate that I love you. Oh, God, I forgot the cuts in this scene are really abrupt. Now, there's an unfortunate... So she agreed to go with the plan up until... No. No. All right, I'm going to I'm gonna be quiet for... There is one thing for this taking an odd behavior like that. Because she was forced to go with the plan. It is time to end your pitiful life. <laughs> yeah. So, unfortunately, uh, I was looking it up, and the HD collection here has a few minor issues. Uh, they they seem to get really prolific in the last hour. Of oh, the game. that JPEG. That JPEG looks real bad. So the main thing here is that uh, those symbols are supposed to be rotating, and there's supposed to be a blur on the entire screen. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. Yikes. Was the um. Was this the same for the 360 HD collection? I have no idea. I believe it is universal, though. This is the start of, for some reason, Kamiya, or whoever the fuck is in charge of the shit, just going, let's let's take a really cool boss fight and shove a really badly placed Afterburner game in it. Who loves Afterburner? We everyone, everyone loves Afterburner, but it doesn't work here because the point that I'm trying to fire at is 100% obscured by my own character if I'm locked on in the right spot. Oh, come on! Nah, you needed more than a couple volleys there. I, I was doing the first part wrong for I'm gonna, about actually. a minute or two. So even though you're in your big heroic moment, the boss totally actually whooped you for a little bit and knocks you out of your big beastie form. Yeah, because you gotta go back to normal. Because you have to actually engage in the main gameplay of the game. And you can't just do that being a badass, super ba super boss, cool guy like your daddy. So the basic thing here, you're going to be shooting this, you're going to be dodging stuff. Can I break these? Yeah, they give you DT, that's what happens. And, and you should have your rocket out. You just oh yeah. Fucking pop your Until you get the amount of DT that you can. Yeah. And then when you do, you can ignore everything the boss is doing and just smack him. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, I forgot about that one. Woof. Ooh. There we go. Mundus form two. Done. Oh, man. Oh, I can't believe it. Mundus. More like Moon doesn't. I remember being that and feeling like it That's was, good. That's it was fair. genuinely kind of anticlimactic. Fair. Right? It's like the the space battle's cool, but terrible. No. And then the that battle's fine, but Pat. it involves a lot more Pat. platforming. Pat. Oh, trust me. Let's not pretend. Trust, oh, trust me. Let's not pretend. Let's not mince words. The entire end of this game is awful. <laughs> it's, no, shh. I should have been the one to fill your dark soul with light. So there's supposed to be a huge, like, screen-annihilating blur on the screen that makes it even more dramatic. But the HD collection doesn't have it for whatever reason. See, for me, it's never about the line. It's about the echo after the line. <laughs> oh, no, that day! This was my moment. We have to fucking escape the island. Goodbye, Trish. Well... Almost done this sequence. And then we'll be home free. Oh no! 
What? Resident Evil? Oh, yeah. Do you not remember? Resident Evil? Yeah. No, I don't remember Resident Evil. Uh, I mean RE4. RE4? I'm tra you're trapped in this, like, like, random room from earlier in the game. JPEG. They're your friends. Yeah. You can do it. What? Oh, ma mother. What? Oh, she lived for s no reason. Dante, use my power. No reason she lived, but okay. Silver Surfer fighting back against Galactus. That's fine. The fact that Dante's the kind of fucker that says mother. M M mother. Like, just thinking about the future Dante we know. Jack. Uh... And she sets him up with the line, too. Yeah. Devils never cry. You liar! You fucking cry right He's now! Tears. No, shut up! Tears are a gift only humans have. That he's pointing out that she has a soul or some shit. Fucking blubbering. And a mother. And like, transplant this with Dante Devil May Cry 5 face of like, Yeah, motorcycle! Yeah, I am so cool! I'm fucking I am a mother! <laughs> At all times, that's what he's thinking. When you finally get inside of Dante's head, he's uh, just fucking scared. Trish is there, like, working at the store. He's like, oh, mommy right. thinks I did a good job today. And then once again, fly. Eagles fly. This is just so bad to control. I cannot, <laughs> I cannot even get across to you guys. It looks worse than it feels. How? No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It is so heavy. Resident Evil 2 and RE4 both end in this exact same manner. Oh, yeah. But yeah, we love Sonic the Hedgehog, I guess. The sky is fair. It'll always be above everyone's head, no different. <laughs> It's so bad! It's, it's, it's so bad! It's this is a classic! This is, how could you say that? It is unforgivably terrible! It is so bad. It's never been this bad! Still alive. They will someday return. <laughs> There's no need to worry, right? Because the world has the legendary Dark Knight Dante. And his sidekick. Mom! Oh, like, and his sidekick. <laughs> Nero <laughs> and his sidekick mother. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Holy shit! It's so bad. So let's get behind the let's. Oh my let's god. Get the curtain. So it's one of those things where today when we sat down to record this, we did uh, mission twenty one tw and twenty two and twenty three. Right. That means that all of this. Goodness, all of this end of the game goodness was packed into one moment. It is so. This series is cheese as fuck, but it's never as bad as everything around that Mundus boss fight. It, it everything around that Mundus boss fight is laughable. It's hilarious. Like the fact that it became what it became on the merits of gameplay alone yeah. after this is like fucking And like, that, that, that was one of the, for three, that was one of the team's like goals. It's like, oh, okay, let's hire some directors to do our cutscenes and let's have story be a larger part to have, you know, every mission has something going on. This also doesn't have cutscene Dante. It doesn't. Right? Cutscene Dante is what you're aspiring to be over the course of the franchise. Yeah. And that has that doesn't come around until three as well. Yeah. The report card. Yeah. What, anything else have a report card before this game that you can think of? Like this? I can't think of anything. Like the full on, here's what you got here's across your everything. Here's all your orbs, here's your time. Uh, I can think of a, a report card, and that is the report card you get at the end of... 
Resident Evil games wow. that tells you your time, your saves, and in some cases your healing items used. Which, by the way, in Resident Evil, healing items reduce your ranking. Ah, it came from, it came from that. Even that, so eat sprays and all that, the, the herbs. First aid sprays reduce your ranking. And sometimes, uh, fucking, um, what do you call it? Uh, the, the herbs don't. Go first challenge aid, the hard First aid mode. sprays are full heals that you just get. Right, okay. Uh, okay. but yeah, but it didn't have the ranking system, so they took that and added secret missions. They added your style report card. And then that became its own fucking thing. So there, we did Devil May Cry 1. Woo! All done. <laughs> Oh, fuck, fuck, that's fuck. awkward. That's <laughs> awkward. That's the that's your fucking collection for you. <sighs> All right. Well, we've done everything that we need to do. Here. You know, you know, I mean, quite frankly, I feel like we I never thought this day would come that we just get around to God Hand and then Devil May Cry and um we totally did do God Hand. I fucking Yeah, we're we're just recently pulling out all the stops. Why don't we just keep going?
デビルメイクライ。